We're coming up on the two-year mark since Avon mother Naja Farrell disappeared. Despite some scattered clues across Indiana, her family still has no idea what happened to her. But now this case is getting some national attention and her family is hoping this will bring in some new leads. That's my biggest struggle, my biggest challenge is to not know. And Paula Golson has woken up to that struggle every morning for nearly two years. It's almost like Groundhog's Day, you know, the movie that you wake up and it's the same day. Over and over, with still no answers about what really happened to Paula's daughter, 30-year-old Naja Farrell. The Avon mother of two disappeared nearly two years ago this coming March 15th. Paula knew something was wrong when her daughter never showed up at her new job that morning and didn't pick up her sons at school later that day. A week later, investigators found Naja's car on Indy's northwest side and some of her belongings scattered along Interstate 65. We never found her phone and we never found her purse. So those things are still missing. A month later, though, men fishing in a retention pond near Crown Point, Indiana, 100 miles north of Avon, found a severed foot. Tests revealed it belonged to Naja. I never got to hug her. I never got to kiss her. I never had to say goodbye. I never got a chance to be there. So it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. Avon police still don't have any suspects in the case, but are about to start working with cold case investigators from other Indiana agencies. I know somebody knows something. That's exactly what Paula told producers with the show Still a Mystery when they interviewed her earlier this year. Now Naja's case is set to be featured on the show's newest season on the streaming channel Discovery+. Plus. The episode is called Somebody Knows Something. And so whatever I can do, I think if we're helping Naja's case, it'll help other cases too as well if we keep information out there for people that are missing. Paula doesn't know when she'll watch the show. Raising Naja's two sons, Thomas 14 and Caden 8, keeps her busy. When I see them, I see Naja, you know, every day. Looking at her grandsons is a reminder of the justice for Naja, too long delayed. Justice, Paula says, she'll never stop seeking for her daughter. That's what I am going to do if it takes my life to do it, I will do it.